A huge thanks to Fandom for sponsoring this video. Fandom is a very fun app that lets you compete to be the number one fan of your favorite celebrities or brands. It's kind of like the Mafia Wars of the millennial generation. You basically use a digital point system and purchase the number one spot of your favorite account. It's very addicting. They're also kind enough to give away $1,000 in cash to one lucky subscriber. More info at the end of this video and I'll drop a link to the app down below. What's up guys, it's Zed from TechSource and welcome to another episode of Cool Tech under $50. Let's begin. To kick things off, we have the B Sport 3 from New Force. I may be bending the rules a bit because these are technically a little higher than $50, but I had to make the exception because these are some quality earbuds. In fact, if you guys put in the code TECHTECH -tech at checkout, the price will drop down to around 60 bucks. So in the box, we get various ear tips as well as these things, whatever they are called, that wrap around your ear and give you a more secure fit. They also come with a carrying pouch that feels premium. So these aren't your typical cheap Bluetooth earphones. The aluminum and polycarbonate housing gives the B-Sports a premium feeling. And besides that, it's also IP55 certified. You won't be able to completely submerge these in water, but heavy rain or sweat will be no problem. It does have inline controls with the typical buttons for music, volume, and calls, and it also has a pretty decent microphone. This is the microphone test of the Optima New Force headphones. People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple pages for Fable fans. I usually don't have my phone on me when I'm home, so I found the ability to pull up Siri or Google Now wirelessly to be very convenient. In terms of sound quality, if you're not an audiophile, you won't be disappointed. You can pretty much blast these in max volume and there will be no distortion. And that's not something I can say for most Bluetooth earphones in this price range. The bass and treble are well balanced with a kick in the low ends and the vocals also come in very clear. Once you get the correct ear tips on, the sound isolation is surprisingly decent. At about 30% volume, I could block out all ambient noise and around 70% is where you'll have trouble hearing a police siren. They are that good. And finally, the battery life on these will last you around 10 hours on a single charge. For around $60, this is a very solid pair of earbuds. Ask any video producer and they'll tell you smudges on displays are the ugliest thing that easily gets overlooked. The thing is, it's not that easy to clean, especially if you're trying to wipe away oily smudges. And that's where microfiber clots also fail. And that's where eye roller comes in. They claim to be the best solution in this problem. I can vouch for them and say it's not only better, but takes cleaning your device to another level. What I mean by this is that the roller also removes bacteria. Now I know what you're thinking, wouldn't the bacteria on the roller just go onto the next surface you apply it to? Well yes and no. Clean it with hot water and you are ready to reuse it without any worries. In fact, you can keep reusing the product your entire life. To test this, we used a smudged up iPad and tried to clean the surface with a microfiber cloth. As you guys can see here, it spread around the smudge rather than removing it. With the eye roller here, we can see an immediate difference. It's practically night and day. It works with any display and its compact size make it a great accessory for my camera bag. Comparatively, the eye roller's $20 price tag is a lot more than a microfiber cloth, but considering how much better it performed and its lifetime of use, it's a clear winner. Let's switch things up and talk about the Velocifier 10 Keyless Mechanical Keyboard. Its price of $30 makes it one of the cheapest mechanical keyboards available in the market. And for its price, it's actually built really well. There's very little flex to the body, you got well-built legs with rubber for anti-slip, and no flex in the keys while typing. The blue lighting is very subtle but still stands out. There's also some lighting effects that come built in. The Zorro brown switches have little tactile feedback. They felt like a crossover between the red and brown switches to be honest. I found this to be great when gaming, but typing on long documents weren't as enjoyable compared to a keyboard with blue switches. The keys do feel plasticky, but solid as well with good travel. You get full media controls on the function keys, quick access to search, calculator, and a Windows lock key as well. If you don't need a number pad, you won't find a better LED backlit mechanical keyboard at $30. The Simpeak is a premium dock made from aluminum. It's minimalistic and supports USB-C devices. I have the silver model here, but they also sell one in dark blue and rose gold as well. Its construction is very solid and has a surprising amount of weight to it. It actually feels like something Apple would put out. The rubberized feet keeps it from sliding around my desk, but I did find myself using both of my hands when disconnecting it from the dock. So I strongly recommend either using some Velcro or maybe even 3M tape to secure this on your desk. The only negative I found is that instead of using a USB-C pass-through cable, which is what they should have done, they actually included a micro USB cable that attaches to the back instead. 
A few problems come from this. One, it maxes out at USB 2 speeds, and second, it doesn't support quick charging. If you're looking for quicker transfer and charging speeds, then look elsewhere. Otherwise, if you're looking for a cool dock to overnight charge your smartphone or keep your phone off the desk on your setup, then you're getting a solid product for $16. Last and certainly not least in price is the magnetic cable clip from Jigpal. It's a very simple concept that saves me time and keeps my cables working and organized. The buckle has different sized grooves which support cables from 2.7mm to 3.5mm in width. I can fit charging cables without a problem and with some force I was even able to put a thicker cable from my Audio-Technica M50Xs into the buckle. However I do wish they offered a model with support for thicker cables. Instead of looking around to find cables, I have all of my charging cables in one place. The magnets are pretty strong, I didn't have any problems with cables randomly falling off. Obviously, if something accidentally pulls on it, then it won't hold. For $8, this is a great addition to any desk setup. If you guys want to take home one of the products featured in this video, all you have to do is leave a like and comment down below on which product you guys want to enter the giveaway for. I'll announce the winners in a few days on my Twitter account. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Alright, so back to the $1,000 giveaway from Fandom, which is a very fun app that lets you compete to be the number one fan of your favorite celebrity or brand. To enter for the $1,000 giveaway, it's very simple. All you guys have to do is battle to be my number one fan. If you're in my top 10 fans for the next month, then you get a shot at winning $1,000. It's that easy. The app is free and I'll drop a link to him down below. Good luck to anyone who participates and I will see you guys in the next video.